Dropping. For the love is back. What's different this year? Different? I'm good. I'm cold and there's slush in my ass. <laughs> Sometimes it's just too good. You gotta stay home. Say it. Grizzly spine. First time seeing it ridden was, was Jeremy Jones. Cover shot of standard films and it, it just blew minds. You expect to see spines like that in Alaska and, and there's not too many in the lower 48 that, that really resemble that knife edge spine. A good dozen years went by before getting my, my shot at it. Grizzly spine's a tricky one to line up. Uh, most years it doesn't fill in and the times that it does, it, it can get hammered by the wind and, and just have some nasty snow on it that, um, yeah, might not be so edge friendly. And this year, we finally caught it in its, in its prime and got some early morning light on it. Me and the boys tore it up. Ready, set, see ya, drop. After skiing Grizzly, looking yeah. back up and watching the boys just shred the Tom Burt spines was unreal. Everyone was stomping just on cloud nine, watching everyone hoot and holler and just destroy that zone. It was, uh, it was a hell of a session and might have been one of, the, one of the meteor sessions that has gone down all at once um, that day out in Sunken. Brandon's gonna drop first on the middle, the middle knuckle of Tom Burt's spine. All right, this is it. Get it, dog. Dropping in five. Yeah, buddy, get it.
shit was crispy, crispy cream. Oh my, oh my god. god. Yes, sir. Oh, that back flap hurt. Jesus. Fucking way to pull it off. Dude. Fuck yes. Oh. Yeah, boys. Fuck yes. Nice. That oh, was my sick. Hurts, dude. Your shots were both incredible Fuck. waterfalls. How'd yours go, dude? Good job, boys. Fuck yeah. Like 40 maybe? Gangster. Yeah. I got a little off my line at the top. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Fucking hey. Nicely skied, man. My god. Fucking love you, dog. Thank you, man. Good work. Appreciate it. Let's do it again. Take Fucking hey. If I could describe this winner, I would say nothing less of just absolutely nuclear, epic, pounding snow every day. It just didn't really end. That was the deepest snow I've ever skied. Oh my god. That was nuts. <laughs> it's just white. Bummer. <laughs> Doing some backyard laps with Josh and Jed, and it was just like the deepest snow I've ever skied in my life. Yeah, boys! Here, go, go. That's pretty up there. I think that's like. Oh, shit! I can't see! Pretty hard bar to set throughout a ski lifetime. Why am I naked in this interview? Because someone has to level up Connery. I mean, if not him, who? <laughs> oh, you're canceled. Descriptive words on the season, I'd say uh, is non-stop, happy to survive, fun. Hey, this is for the love. For net. You get the money back. You're the winner of the tournament. Fucking wreck. You ready yeah. to go uh, fucking fire up them sleds?
early days in Watson, that felt like being in Canada. It was like cold, skiing pillows. the things that you love with the people you love and the places you love. Really for all of us, it's just the outdoors. Just keeping it fun, I don't know. Skiing is fun, and stupid, and silly. Just being as free as you possibly can. This winter was nuts. Gray for months on end, nuke and snow. Every day you're just skiing lower cow and hard to complain when, yeah. when that's oh, out your back door. Oh yeah. Oh! Bum to me means Shug, let's go! kind of writing off a lot of things in life to chase snow. Chug's trailer, dropping shit on the ground. Yeah, just pieces of the trailer. We'll grow back. Getting out, loving each day to the fullest. Uh, you never know what you're gonna get, and and if you got a good attitude and a little free time carved out, well, turns out you can have a lot of fun. So where? Uh, to the mountain. Oh, it's a mountain. Why? For the love. <laughs> <laughs>
Of God, we have sun. <laughs> Grab it.
I mean, I kind of just miraculously tagged along with these boys halfway through the season, I think. Uh, we had so much snow this year, there's no reason to be gone, and these boys were having the most fun filming and skiing, and I wanted oh, to be a part of it. Right next to your landing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was bulletproof ice. Okay, I think I'm gonna back out. <laughs> I was psyched to just tag along and, and join Jed and Shugs and Brandon and Josh and just... I, got, I tried to shoot some like, you looking up at it, like pan up, zoom it, like you know. Great time to get RT. I mean, it was my favorite part of the season, just traveling at home and exploring all these zones that we always talk about going to. And we actually did, and we ticked off some pretty cool things. Okay, Connor is dropping in 10. Yo, buddy. Just like white room myself onto a spine, but nailed it. Fuck. Hey, Shugs, I actually crashed the, uh, the fucking drone, dude. Try it to the fucking. I almost. Ah. All right, so I lied. Slow. You do go slow. Like that you're having to go over your head to get your pole plants? <laughs> Me too. Bro. When you get in the way of social media skiers, lubricate this rock much as possible. Oh, that's kind of nice. 
I'm trying to see how gravity works here. Like, oh God. Tahoe is not known for having the biggest mountains, but we've got the cleanest granite and always been obsessed with rock rides. Shane McConkey did a ton here back in the day. And uh, we were out sledding one day and found this marvelous, huge rock ride. I didn't really think it was possible, honestly. She is. Oof. Wow. It looks really long with skis on, like. <laughs> Jed and Shugs were off looking at other zones and I'm kind of standing on this thing looking at it by myself for probably three hours. When you park your sled like that, you know you're obsessed. High adrenaline, I, my hands still get sweaty thinking about this line. He's addicted to rock. From afar, it looks like it's totally smooth and clean all the way down it. Right towards that rock. I know, I don't like that. But there's all these little chunks of rock sticking out very, at the very end of it. Whew. It's a lot of rock. Snagging one of those after traveling, I don't know, like 150 feet down granite would be, I mean, that is, would be a bad, bad situation. Way down there, oh my God. It took us a while to figure out the line and oh, we found one that worked. <laughs> gonna come in right here. Yeah. I'm just gonna come right by that thing like I mentioned, that uh, upper little thing, yeah. and just pin it straight fall line from there. There's no way I'm drifting to that rock to the right. Not a chance. What about the one to the left? My yeah. biggest concern is the shelf we are talking about, yeah. hitting that and then coming into that um, transition. Yeah. Woo! The rock ride was probably the most intense ski stunt I've ever done. There was high consequence ledges to catch your tips on, boulders that would break your legs if you were an inch to the right, and we ended up finding just a sneaky hallway between it all. Okay, we take this line right here. Connery gave her the beans, opened the course, and uh, it was game on. Alrighty. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it. Evans down some clean rock. Woo! Got me all sorts of fired up. Ready, set, see ya. I did it. Yeah, boys. Fuck yeah, man. That was really fun. That's epic. <laughs> Woo, doggy. Wow. What would you compare that to? Heroin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been looking at that road gap on 89 for as many years as, I don't know, I think it burned at some point, but it just lines up. There's a retaining wall and a steep landing. I've had my, yeah, so I, I feel like it's been like 10 years. Um, we had the snow. I definitely wanted to make it happen and pulling around the corner, I was just like, holy shit, boys. Like, this is a gap. We called it uh, for the gap. 
pretty gorgeous little uh, road gap. Don't think it's ever been done. It's confirmed by some South Acres, but had a real, real solid session. Yeah, watching Josh hit it first, well, it was clear that he wasn't gonna undershoot the thing. We just didn't know if he was gonna land in the actual lake. I didn't wanna hit it first. And he came close, but. Uh... <laughs> I think that was it. I think. It might have been too much. But... Might have been, but. We're not gonna hit the guard right now. Am I doing this or are we Rochambeauing? Uh, Trevor seemed like a real All strong right. contender. He had the math. See what we got here. He's got the uh, experience and the, the vision for the road gaps. You're not clearing it with that speed, dude. Like, you, where's, that's clearing it, dude. No, I was really kind of waiting for him to take charge, but he seemed to think it was my turn, so. In 10. on it. It was still really scary to hit. Thank God he, he went first. ride the line between nervous and scared. You know, once the cameras are out and people are lining up across the highway, you gotta give them a show. I'm gonna use my ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. <laughs>